Yo, what's up? This your boy John O with this week's rant. And with no further delay, I'ma jump right into it. If money is the root to all evil, why is it that so many churches want to collect it? Black actors need to support each other way more than they do. Why the fuck is motherfuckers surprised that there were no black people nominated for Oscars this year? This is nothing new, people. Come on, get over it. You know, and, and I hate to say this, especially being in the business that I'm in, but the Oscars aren't set up all the time to highlight black folks. And then on top of that, not always do black folks do great Oscar worthy work. Let's just be real. All right. Let's call a spade a spade. No pun intended. But that's what it is. So don't be surprised when you motherfuckers are not nominated because it, 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 it's, it's a white man's world. So Justin Bieber is doing an album with Rick Rubin. Hmm. Maybe finally I'll buy a Justin Bieber album. I know I'm going to catch some flack for this. And if he sees this, I'll probably never work in none of his fucking films. But so be it. But I don't think John Singleton is a nice person. I think he's an asshole. That's just my opinion. So, the New England Patriots are headed to the Super Bowl, and now there's so much controversy around them about deflating footballs. Look, the Pats are damned if they do, and damned if they don't. If they win the Super Bowl this this year, people are going to say they cheated. If they lose the Super Bowl this year, people are going to say it's because they cheated. They have no motherfucking choice but to just go out there, play football, and do the best they can. Honestly, I'm a giant fan, and I rolls with the Giants. But you know what? This time, I'm going to rock with the Pats. I think they deserve it. Candace Patton, Jordan Sparks, LaChina Robertson. These are three chicks that I now have crushes on. Nigga, did you see those Amber Rose pictures? God damn. Excuse me, I have to go jerk off. I wonder if they have AA meetings for porn. Well, I guess it wouldn't be called the AA meeting because that's Alcoholic Anonymous. Well, like a porn meeting. Because I damn sure would love to go sit in one. And just listen. Not explain that I'm addicted to porn. Because I'm not. I'm just saying I would love to sit in one. And see who's there. I've never been a Lil Wayne fan. But I got to ride with Lil Wayne on this situation, man. Um... I'm surprised that him and Baby are going through this right now. And Lil Wayne kept his word and told him, by Friday, if you don't have my motherfucking album out, I'm suing you. Big up, because the nigga kept his word. Woo! Another death of a dynasty. So, did anybody see the Whitney Houston movie? I mean, the Bobby Brown movie? I'm a big fan of Bobby Brown. But that whole movie seemed like it was more about Bobby than Whitney. And big up to my man Bobby Brown for having an interview after... Man, he was such a professional in that damn interview. Big up to my man, B. Brown. I'm always going to love my man, B. Brown. I'm always going to love New Edition. I guess that's why I'm rocking with the Pats. Um, but nonetheless, hats off to y'all. Actually, the movie was way better than that Aaliyah bullshit. Do you ever think Obama's face would be on our American currency? Personally, I hate when niggas compare themselves to Biggie and Tupac. Because far as I'm concerned, Pac was not that good of a rapper. So if you compare yourself to that nigga... You're whack. To me, D.C. looks a lot like Brooklyn. This is just my own personal thing, but sometimes I get weirded out eating chicken in front of white people. I feel like they're looking at me, judging me, like, mm-hmm, I knew them niggas like chicken. So every time I eat chicken and there's white people around, I cover up. People are still, 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 to this day, talking about Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston. Are we still on that shit? I thought they both moved on. I see at the damn fucking uh, uh, the awards, the Golden Globe Awards, people are still talking about them being separate from each other. I think both of them girls have definitely been past this bullshit. And if not, they do need to get in the room and hash out their fucking differences if there is any. But I really wish we would stop talking about them. I don't get, think they give a fuck about Brad Pitt at this point no more. Uh, well, I guess Angelina does, but Jen doesn't care. I think she moved on. Fuck it. Chicago is a great city. You ever notice that a lot of TV shows are always based in Chicago? I have no point to this. I just felt like pointing it out. Can you decide? Drake, Kendrick Lamar, or J. Cole? Who you think is better? And since I'm on that topic, Chris Brown or Bobby Brown? And finally, Roman Polanski, Stephen Collins, Jerry Lee Lewis. All three of these men did something weird in their lives. Roman Polanski raped a 13-year-old girl, fled the country, 
the Oscars turn around and give him an honorary fucking Cecil B. DeMille award. Jerry Lee Lewis marries his young, at the time, I guess, 13-year-old cousin or 16-year-old cousin, and he was older, and he's in, the, in the, uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Stephen Collins admittedly, admittedly, said that he was a pervert. Bottom line, he fucking showed his penis to young girls. And they keep Seven Heaven on the air. I know we're tired of hearing about this Cosby shit, but I'm sick of motherfuckers, especially black people. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all are turncoats, man. Y'all motherfucking believe every fucking thing without having all of the facts. Just, and listen, again, I reiterate, I don't fucking condone rape. If he did it, then he did it. But we don't have no proof. He's allegedly. And all you black folks are turning your back on this man. This dude has gave so much money to colleges. He's helped so many people through school. He's done a lot for the entertainment business. You guys are persecuting this dude. They took his motherfucking TV show off the air. Whatever the case may be. Big up to Felicia Rashad for coming to his back. If I was one of the Cosby kids, I would say something too right now at this point. Big up to Raven, uh, Ra Raven Simone and big up to Keisha Knight Pulliam. Bottom line is, man, I can't believe that black folks, especially black folks, are are so quick to condemn him without having the truth. We all know that the powers that be are easily, easily able to make a conspiracy happen. Case in point, Martin Luther King. Case in point, motherfucking Malcolm X. Case in point, whoever from the past. So why can't y'all see that this could possibly be some bullshit and and he did not do this shit. Um in the in the motherfucking 60s and the fucking 50s whenever these ladies are coming out saying a black man couldn't fucking touch a white woman without her fucking calling rape or 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 or, or, or getting this guy in trouble. Case in point, Emmett Till, all right? Why are we not waking up and at least hearing all the facts before we prejudge this man? That's all I'm saying. Again, if the facts come out that he is guilty, then so be it. But if not, stop condemning him. Sorry I'm going so, on, so long on this one. But here's the thing. Over 30 years ago, this stuff happened. I find it extremely odd that all of these women waited this long to come out and say something. The only reason I say that is because... I know maybe one woman would wait, maybe even two, but 26, none of y'all had the balls to say nothing back then? Come on. That's a little fishy. This has been this week's rant with your boy John O. Make sure you don't do something, say something, or let me see something to end your ass up on this list next week. I will see y'all next Monday. Remember, don't be smart, be genius, and always stay gecko. Hey, what's up, guys? If you enjoyed that video, then I need you to subscribe. And... You can always stay updated on all my new videos by following me on Facebook.com forward slash John Ali. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Kate told me to do this. If money is the root to all evil, if money is the root of all evil, why is it that church is all If money, why the fuck? Come on. If money is the root to all evil, why? <laughs> If money is the root to <laughs> If money is the root to all evil, why is it that so many churches want to collect it?